How you doing, chooms? Welcome back. So before we head off to the Cloud District, I want to upgrade all my crafting materials. And I'm going to make these right here and eventually upgrade it to these higher ranks here. And uh, let's see if I can upgrade my cyber deck, yeah? So I got 115 regular components. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pump all these out. As many as I can make. And it's not making me do it one at a time. So that's cool. All right, so now that I made those, how many of these can I make? I can only make like five. All right. Well, that's something. And also, the people have spoken. Uh, the majority of you guys don't want me to start Phantom Liberty until Act 3 for story flow reasons. For those of you who are disappointed in the decision, I just want to apologize. I'm sorry, but I promise that every episode is going to have some meaningful uh, progression towards Act 3. I'm not going to dilly-dally. I'm still going to do some side hustles and gigs because, hey, I need a, I need a level. I need perk points and stuff. But... Yeah, I will make sure I don't dilly-dally too much. All right, where's Bonnie? Where's my girl? There she is. Make sure I don't get hit by, hit by any of these cars. All right, so the patch made us of the music and the car is louder, which I think I need to tune down now. All right, that's much better. So the whole Evelyn Parker story, man, is such a sad, very dark story, and I love it. It's irresistible. Oh, no, traffic, Night City. Yeah, you can see a really dark side of uh, Night City, man. Crossing the bridge into one of my favorite parts of Night City. I love Japantown. I think it's so cool. Takamura. Hey, can you talk? Yeah, is what's important? up? I just pulled what's it aside here. Established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Okay, so why the mystery? Get to the point, Taka. Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Konpiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Alright, so this guy trustworthy? Who is this anyway? Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability. Even that of old friends. You sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. I think he sees this guy as a brother, right? All right, fine. Where's the meat? Fine. Where's the meat and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. All right, man. All right, so what's this message you sent me, Otaka? Okay, so at night from the den located after the fifth bamboo in the hamlet, the fox goes out to hunt. He quenches his thirst at the watering hole while waiting for your rifle. He takes shelter in the shade of the cherry blossoms. The fox is cautious. It shall emerge when it is sure that the water was not poisoned. Um, Takamura? Amateur Merc, yes, this is Takamura. I am using a burner via a secure connection, but I figured it would be best to use the secret code I created. I suspected it might be beyond your abilities. I bet you're writing like Harkus or something over here. Meet me at the docks in Chan uh, Channel Street, Japan Town. <laughs> Come at night. If nobody has followed you, I will show myself. Getting really chatty, this guy. I trust this was understood, not too complicated. I got it, Goro. See you. Gonna show yourself a what? This part of the code? What, what's, what are you talking about? <laughs> there, there's a saying in your country. One moment it will come to me. Oh, now I remember. Go F yourself. Hey, you too. I love you too, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh no, watch out for the coppers. They don't care that I'm driving down the wrong side of the street. I thought I hit that car. Never admit fault, guys. <laughs> Alright, here we are. I'm gonna oh! Sorry, lady. My bad. Yeah, this car has a mind of its own. I can't control her. Look at her. Look how she's waddling away. That's pretty funny. Oh, I did not enter the right way. 
All right, one of many mega buildings in Night City. Oh, got some Tiger Claw over here. All right, let's just mind our own business. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this available? Hey, Brendan, what's the difference between a broken bone and a broken heart? System error. I repeat, system error. Ah, oh, damn it to hell. Okay, so this is this hasn't started yet, but this is a really cool little side mission. <laughs> really adds to uh, the game, man. I love it so much. All right, cloud, huh? Lower floor looks like any of the lower floor in the city. Ooh, what's this? Some components. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bet. Sounds like fun, John. Are right, we going to clouds? What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence. We already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Looking a little tired there, John. Well, tiger claws have ties to Arasaka. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Hello, Go figure. Night City. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, Fallon wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka. She could have done better. This whole situation's bent over. Cheeks spread wide. Yeah, why did uh, Evelyn come here? That is a little bit weird. Well, someone's in a great mood. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half brain dead dude drags me around a cat house or a wild horse chase. I know, it sounds like fun, doesn't it, John? Grand old time. You know he is. Alright, so why don't you believe Judy? Think Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. <laughs> no answer. Look at that look on his face, man. <laughs> so hold on. You take a blow up doll, dream all the whole, and uh, that's cheap. That's infidel. That's none of my business. Clouds. Got some Asian food outside and everything. This place has everything. Oh, it's closed. Sit and wait until the evening. Okay. Hurry up and wait. Can I chat her? Chat with her? Him? Oh, he's selling spices. What are you selling? Like seeds and things. Ugh, these textures are low res. Modders, get on it! I cannot survive with knowing that... Sorry, I didn't mean to make a scene. Let's go. Oh, we can't sit here. It's got the anti-sleeping homelessness devices on it. Yes, sir. Ass is made of iron. Sometime later. It's open. Advertisements on. No music's playing. Ooh, very mesmerizing. Love, toys, handcuffs. That's pretty cool, man. Pop art and stuff. Greaser. Fabulous fro on that. Very cool, man. Hey, lady. Welcome to Clouds. Where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? I just got scanned, man. Jack into personal, uh, in the personal isn't safe, didn't you know? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core. End up paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Jeez. I guess it makes it alright then. Hey, uh, I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know where she is? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. Like we're having two different conversations here. I just, I just want to talk to her. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. 
Maybe she's a robot. Check in, please. Here's Johnny. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? No. Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Yeah, I like I like how that sounds. Wait a minute, you know why I'm here, Mrs. Uh, receptionist? How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. What I need is Evelyn Parker. Can you fill those needs? How does this work? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. I could use this system for all kinds of stuff, like, um, tailoring your tastes in video games to shopping for clothes. Wait a minute, they're kind of already doing, the, doing that when they collect your data online, huh? Jack in, please. Oh, uh, right, I'm jacking in. Here we go. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. Okay, so we're gonna step outside our comfort zone, possibly? If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Okay. Now for your safe word. Cream puffs. Afterlife, samurai, let's go afterlife. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Okay, nice selection here. Still matching. And it got whittled down to two. Alright then. Angel looks very charming and all, but I think I'm gonna go with Sky. Matches. Interesting. Is that normal or who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Yeah, we're gonna go with Sky. It would have been cool if they would have given you a breakdown as to why they were a match to you, you know, like personality traits or something. That would have been nice. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Got a pay out of pocket. Hey, I don't want to pay. Nah, pay. There you go. It goes 500 bucks. And the payments come through. Nice. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. All right, that's it. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Okay, so we gotta leave our weapons and our loot, I guess. You can't take my cybernetics. Nope. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Well, they're getting paid, Don't so... Worry. Dick Johnny. All your grown-up toys will be safe with us. I don't carry those kind of toys. And How'd you know about my toys? Alright, so... Just the main floor, all these private booths. So many things going on here, so many fantasies being explored, so many people being exploited. Alright, so, go to booth 9. These cameras. Would it be worth, um... Hacking into the cameras and looking around just yet? That elevator doesn't work. Not yet, anyway. Better heard a yelp. I definitely heard a yelp. And I took care of her whimpering. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Because of you. 
would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Yeah, John. <laughs> Nothing to say there, pal. I guess not. All right. Hello, Sky. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. In the flesh. Female V's Valerie, by the way. It's, um, it's just V. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, this'll be interesting. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V. You're dying. Whoa, you get right to the <laughs> right to the afterlife! I don't know, how do you, how do you know I'm dying? How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. She's plugged so into our do? soul, man. Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. I would have picked better curtains if this was my doing. There's something in those mirrors somewhere. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. Robo-hooker. <laughs> I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'd watch that movie. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. <laughs> robo-hooker. Sounds like a trauma. I forgot the name of the studio movie. You know, the um, same people that made the Toxic Avenger movies? Trauma? Something? All right, I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Hmm. Just gonna talk in circles, riddles. Nah, tell me where Evelyn is. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. I do always get my way. She knows me so well. So this is what fulfilling my desires looks like? Interesting. I was told this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. What the hell, man? You can't, you can't come to terms with something like that. So I just give up? No, you can't, you can't come to terms with something like that. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. I like the pain. Fear of death <laughs> is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Died with a friend, man. I was all tied up with Jackie for sure. Nah, I still want to be the best. Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. That's probably the fear that's a f at the forefront of our mind right now, man. Nah, the void freaks me out. And that actually freaks me out in real life. Like, if there's nothing hey, after all this... Talk to me. Yeah, the endless void. Okay. Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me. I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. 
Yeah, grief doesn't begin to describe this. What I've been through? Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. So what now? So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. That's everybody. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. Touch. Not sure I can manage. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. And to think all this came from some algorithm that evaluated my psyche. Pretty crazy stuff. And I think um, V is definitely um, genuinely uh, grateful here, so thank you. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. <laughs> Time for a snooze. You do, but everything has its end. Afterlife. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? And the spell is broken. Goddamn thing threw me out. What do I want to talk to you? Talk. You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? I wonder what her experience is like in all this while she's in like hypnosis mode or whatever. Hey, thanks for the chat. That was refreshing. A lot of things been going on in my head lately. This was different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. <laughs> I get why people come here. Come back. But I need something else. Just another day on the job for her, man. What do you know about Evelyn? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I'm just trying to find some answers here. Uh, pay, I'll pay for info. You're good looking. It'd be a shame to lose that. I don't think I've ever tried bribing her. Let's try bribing her. This I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddie's and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. Not quite the response I was looking for. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Eh, we got what we wanted, though. Notice anything unusual? Yeah, let's go with that way, I guess. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. That's it? Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Tom, all right. So there was an incident, a customer attacked her. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. 
keeping your head down. And where did it happen? Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. Alright, is it occupied now? This booth occupied now. Nah. I think it's been out of order since, um... Yeah. Alright, how do I get in? Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? <laughs> We're gonna Who's fight Tom? him. A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Okay, gotta get to the VIP Thanks. area. See? You turn out to be useful after all. She's just afraid of losing her job and possibly body parts for talking. Can't blame her for that. Alright, so I want to get into Evelyn's booth. And the quest marker's not leading that way. She said 11, right? Oh, it's 11. 11's over here. It was 11. I knew I wasn't crazy. Lock? How about I lock it? Maybe I want to lock it after I get inside. No? Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, that's a good idea. I want to actually scan it. What's this fresh blood you're looking at? Maybe it's on the wall? Yeah, right there. Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Yeah. What else are we looking at? There's something right here. Hidden camera. You can see that? Dang. And we got something over here. Port frame. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Hmm. Hollow view. Play projection. Let's have a look. Huh. What's this? Okay, it's a reenactment of the final moments, I guess. That guy has a foot thing. Oh! Damn, she's going through hell. That guy's confused as hell. He's confused? Like, what's going on with you, woman? Well, the client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. No, definitely not. Something bitter in the ass. Man, she's trying to crawl, trying to escape, trying to do anything. God, it looks painful as hell. I feel sorry what for Evelyn, think? man. Cyberpsychosis? Is that what cyberpsychosis can look like? Yeah, I can't be sure. I can't rule it out. The missing port is still gnawing in my mind, though. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. Yeah, the day when you can get hacked, personally hacked, that would be scary, man. All right, is that just gonna turn it back on? Yeah, we don't need to see this again. All right, let's get inside the VIP area. All right, so we're still in the public space. Not bad, but it would be much better real. I would eat those thighs. Ugh, creepy. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? <laughs> it's the big conk. shot over here. This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. <laughs> he looks like a middle-aged office worker, but he's got the voice oh. of like a hood rat. No shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs> okay, so we can't get in because we need an authorization card. 
Second floor is for VIP customers only. Okay. It's a good thing this guy came down. Came out the door, so he probably has um what we need. Alright. Time to be a sneaky sneaky Mona Leaky. We're gonna invade this guy's most private of private moments. And I'm not gonna kill him. Broken! Oh, we got some money. Must have a, a bounty or something on him. Alright, so we got a way in. Wait a minute. No. I was like, there's an access point in the toilet? That's weird. Close the door. I don't know why I'm closing the door. And I got the technical know-how to get through here. So obviously I'm gonna get through here. Is something blue? Is it a weapon? Components? What is this? It's a blue grenade! All right, let's get that grenade situated. Oh, they took all my grenades. I guess you can't use that grenade. And of course I need to get this. First, we gotta clear out the rubbish. And uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, we got the two big ones, I guess. That's pretty good. Man, it's only a hundred eddies, man. I think they definitely nerfed the amount of cash you get from there. It might make buying cars and stuff a lot harder. I might I might actually have to um, sell. That I had authorization. I guess you could only brute force it. Um, I didn't see if there's another access point to get through there. You might have to actually go through the door. Yeah. Since I have an access card, will they have a problem with me just walking in? I saved. <laughs> No, it says access granted. I think we're good for now. Alright. But going in anywhere else might be a problem, right? Okay, so this is the VIP area. What we do have. That's some Anything, good tunes. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Are they? More like hard life. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. Come on, you can't get enough brainwashed sex zombies, man. What if they had a problem if I went in there? Alright, let's handle this first. Hey, Tommy. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Just answer some questions. I want to talk I'm to sure Evelyn. Sure your VIP card checks out. Had a sitch once, payment bounced, and I was ripped out of the sesh the same way. Docked it for my pay, they did. Oh, that sucks. No, I don't want to cause them any hardships, I just want to talk about Evelyn. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo, for a new faceplate. Two different sides of the world, man. Osaka's in Japan, Oslo's in Sweden, right? Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. I'm familiar with the accident. Yeah, let's, let's go there. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah... Uh... You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. How could you be so sure she actually went? You think she would have told you, right? Well, did she tell you she was leaving? Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is this Woodman? Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Guess we're gonna go to Woodman's office. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. 
That's what they should be replacing. <laughs> He's got a very low opinion of these people. And he sounds impatient. All right, so we got to get over there, which is definitely going to involve trespassing into territory that they don't want me to go. I'm going to save again. I want to see if I can just step through this door. Apparently I can. Oh, I got a gun now. Let's equip it just in case I need it. A chow. Cho. Um, doesn't look that great, but okay. Looks like somebody's hobby gun. All right, can we go through this elevator? I don't remember if I ever took this elevator. Apparently I could take this elevator. Let's take it. Storage. I might be going the wrong way. I'm in a hostile area though. All right, be careful. Someone's right there. Okay, is there anything I could use to distract them? Not the shutters. Is there anyone else in here? I could use that, but he's just going to be facing me anyway. Alright, so my best bet would be to, um... I guess reboot optics. But then that's going to start a trace. Mm, not a good idea then. Ah, there we go. I could use this. Actually, maybe this. Garbage shoot. That could be fun. Alright, let's distract the enemy. Yoohoo! Hee hee! Alright, so he turns his back on me. I go in and get him. Huh? You see nothing. Gotcha. <gasps> Into the fridge you go. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And he's got stuff. Cut a matic, that's a sword. Another token. Some components. Alright, that was pretty cool. Yeah, but that urge to immediately just start throwing quick hacks on him was like overwhelming. I gotta resist that. I got the top and bottom. Can't complain. Yeah, I wanted crafting mats to... There's a hole in this fence. This could be another route that I just never took. That door looks locked. Gotta be mindful of cameras. Definitely someone on the other side of this door, man. Oh, I can't even open it. The tokens I have does not work. Gotta take the elevator back up. I guess I just felt like he... Oh, this is just another way in. Like if you wanted to bypass the front door, come here with your... I could open this. If you wanted to come here with all your weapons, I guess. Alright. Engineer is no nine. What's in here? Oh, it's a smart shotgun. I was hoping to find one of these. Oh yes, I'm gonna put that on three. And I'll put the machine gun on two. Look at this. It's got personality. Curious to see how a smart shotgun will work. All right, we're gonna take the elevator back up. This is gonna lead to uh, a common area, so I should be okay. Not have to worry about trespassing. All right, so I couldn't find a way into that booth. Maybe it doesn't matter. No entry. Got a camera there. All right, so got one guy all the way over there. All right, so we're gonna turn this camera off. Distract this guy with this. Wait till everything lines up. He's not looking and go in. Yes. Save! Like a bitch! Got one guy right there. Is it worth trying to loot this place? Got plenty of machines where I could distract them. I find a katanas and all kinds of stuff. Max stock, level 3! Very cool! Alright, definitely gonna get that situated. Oh, it already did it for me. Plus 84 health. Very nice. Alright, uh oh. Guy's outside the door. But we can't go back that way. Well, I'm gonna take this guy out, man. Just this it's just a machine. Go check it out. Free food, free snacks. Everybody likes free snacks. Come on, come on, come on. 
Gotcha. Yeah, we kill the people now. We don't care. What's on him? Another VIP token. Am I just collecting the same tokens? What is this? It's a shard. Archive conversation between Harry Flint and uh, Jeremy. Harry, sub chum, let's swap shifts for Saturday. Bro, we ain't swapping shit. Come on, I'm begging you. Forget it, man. Saturday is always a fucking train wreck. For fuck's sake, Chum. My kid ran away from home. So go look for him. Maybe you'll find him before Saturday. I know where he is. Gotta go to my parents on Saturday to borrow some eddies to pay off the scavs. Scavs. Oh, no. Those cycles will grind him up and discop if I don't pay. I'm on my fucking knees, dude. Fine. How could you turn that down? Holy crap. The scavs have his kid? Forget the cops. He should just go, um... Go see a... Go see a merc. Go see a... Go see a fixer about that. So that's... That door's locked, right? No, I could use the tech ability here. Oh, R. Get some engineering experience here. Any cameras, any people? I don't think I've ever successfully done this. Um, yeah, I don't think I've successfully done this stealthily. So I'm really eager to do it. I could sneak up on him, but I don't know if I could grab him from behind when he's sitting. I mean, I could try to distract him over here. That might be risky. What if he stands up and turns this way to go there? All right, I'm gonna try to grab him while he's sitting. Got him. Ugh, rest in peace. And give me your loot. More of these tokens. Collected tokens, man, they're worth a lot. I don't know if they are. Purple ammo? Oh, components. Nice. That's all good stuff, man. Maybe we could turn off all the cameras from here. That'd be that'd be very helpful. Uh, local network surveillance system. Let's turn this sucker off. Hell yes. Okay, these are potential people. Nope, potential clients. Fetishes, food, tips, and money spent at bar. Negligible. They keep notes on their clients, man. Owner and sole employee of a scap dog, scop dog stand. Single. Jennifer. Most likely connected to Militech, so we've got Militech people coming here. Riggs, Tom. The cause moonlight is peeping Toms. They always got eyes in their dolls. Know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Oh, wow. Had a hunch. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Very interesting. Club attack. This is what happened to Evelyn, right? On Wednesday at approximately 1.50 a.m., a net runner attack. Took place in Booth 11. The witness was Thomas Briggs, who was in a session with a doll jacked into the system. As a result of the attack, he went into shock and presented psychosomatic symptoms. It was found that the Netrunner attack induced a psychotic episode in the doll. In anticipation of a possible all-out assault on clouds, at 2.06 a.m., all of cloud security was re requested on the premises. Luckily, Booth 11 was the Netrunner's sole target. And this is Thomas here. Spent uh, 92 minutes here. He likes large boobs. He's a truck driver. Has nomad roots. All right. One message. Booth 11. I'll be needing access to Booth 11. All recordings from inside going going back a month. This is from Ginger Lane Investigation Services. Too bad we couldn't talk to her, man. This is two local networks, but I only see this one here. Okay. That should be helpful, but that doesn't mean all the cameras are off. So we still got to be careful. Oh, that's Woodman's office right there. The schedule changes. Incident report. Something. Okay, V's paused. I don't know why. All right, Flint and you shift change commotion to VIP area. All current employee employed security called in. Fight between two clients. Doll called security. Problem with payment. Friend paid for client. Oh, this is a different incident. Moved them. Right there. See that? Two way in. They hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup too. Damn. Yeah, this place is backed by Tiger Claws. I wonder what their cut is. I don't hear any cameras. Maybe I really did turn them off. Alright, I want to go in here first. I saw something red blink just a second ago. What is this? Reinforced bra, baby! <laughs> Evelyn's schedule. Huh, I'm finding stuff I never found before. Alright, nails, lunch, pistachio turd dinner. That was a mustachio turd dinner. Maybe that's her client. Jerry Connell meeting, clouds shift, Judy's breakfast canceled. Poor Judy. 
Right, what was this over here? Bounce pack, health boosters, and max stocks. All right, all, all upgraded versions of my healing is good. Oh, this is orange. Evelyn's handbag? Left a purse. Could have had more than one. All the shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. She had a legendary handbag. I'm just curious. Let me look at this thing. Is that under clothing? No. No, it's just a quest item. Doesn't do anything. All right. I guess all that's left is uh, head to Woodman's office. I can come through here. Get the engineering experience, man. Um, I think you could actually talk to him. No, we can't go through that door. I know this is a quick way out. Ooh, I can smell him. It smells like rotten milk. Hey there, Woodman. Hey, no clients allowed in here. Stardust, age 42. Mayor Truman, close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Yeah, it's very busy. So I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. Not anymore, you she mean. used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Hmm. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. This guy wasn't bad. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Doesn't understand the gravity of the situation. All right, you look like a reasonable man. Let's make a deal. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. Hmm. Okay, I got this uh, Netrunner option. That's cool. Looks like you've got a Netrunner problem. I can help. No, you guys got hit by a runner a while back. I can make sure that never happens again. That's so. Uh, let's hear it then. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> uh, tit for tat, only if you help me. Tit for tat. Want to be net secure? You're going to help me find Evelyn first. That's the only way this is going to work. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. A very amicable way of doing this. Girl you're looking for, Parker? Yeah. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Hmm. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. So Evelyn stopped bringing in profits, is what you're saying? Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. I saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. Hmm. Do dolls often malfunction? They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. Wow, that's crazy. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Man, what a crappy city. <laughs> All right, get to the point, Woodman. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Yeah, where is she? Got an order from up high to recycle her. Recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You invested Eddie's in Evelyn? You invested your own Eddie's to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> no. Nah. You got me. He sold her. Ripper's the one who paid me. Oh, this dirty bastard, man. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know. Considering where I work. 
Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes, even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> It was an uh, they updated something with 2.0 with fingers that makes me very happy. I'll let you know what it is later. Why'd you do that? You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. <laughs> Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Oh, Think heart of gold, this guy. Out there willing to change the diapers of a brain dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. God. Better than a bolt to the brain? I don't know about that, V. You're repulsive. People like you deserve a special place in hell. Yeah, you do, man. Yeah. People like you need to come up with better insults. Damn it. We done here. <laughs> All right. Name and address, and they'll get out of here. Hair. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. Now, you do your end. How do we board up against hacks? We actually help them now? Not telling you shit, but I'm only choosing this because I've never had this option before. What? Don't tell me you forgot already. Yeah, I forgot. We made a deal. <laughs> You're gonna stick to it. Now nah, you have to isolate the chip's core layers, whatever that means. You'll need soft to isolate chip and implant receptor layers from cloud subnet. At the same time, it'll keep track of and block any attempts to modify the core on the go. Uh, now in human rather than machine. You need smart eye. Latest version. Smart eye. Smart eye. Smart eye. Got it. Got it. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. That's freaking cool. I think I actually actually uh, accomplished this without uh, blowing my cover. I'm looking Dark through his computer. Fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co ed's wet dream. Yeah, right. I'm not leaving nothing yet, but I'm still saving just in case this something happens. Ring ring. It's not letting me look at the computer, man. Do I have to sneak or something? Before you can look at this computer. I could say some more. Hey, how did Evelyn look to you? How'd she look to you last time you saw her? You weren't listening. Told you already. Now get out! Mm, tempted to just test out my smart shotgun on him. I want to ask you one more thing. Evelyn's still with his fingers creep. Do I look like his secretary? Mm. But don't worry. We're not done with him yet, guys. All right, let's leave clouds. I actually did it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> look at me growing. That was a quick elevator ride. Oh, that's the elevator I couldn't take. All right, let's make sure we collect our stuff. You may take your weapons. All right, thanks for reminding me. Got everything. And what did I want to... Oh, yeah. I want to put my smart rifle in the second slot. And eventually I'll get a smart pistol. Put that in the first slot. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to try the shotgun, man. I hope it doesn't let me down. Can I talk to a her some more? pleasant somewhere? day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. I won't! Except next time I want something more than just a therapy session. I want to play like card games and stuff. Board games. Risk, maybe. That'd be cool. Uh, take the elevator to the ground floor. Fine. Quest. Oh, wait. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. Yeah, I think we'll find her there. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Ghost on a chip. Alright, I see dollhouses still aren't your thing. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Really? Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a 10-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire would really make this place shine. <laughs> I don't know. You think John would be all about this? Maybe I have a low opinion of John. I don't know. Why is this elevator all askew? Oh, that's why. <laughs> you 
had a plan. You tried, you fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Yeah, maybe not. Where are you, John? Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, fuck! What the hell's that? It's a woman drinking a beer. No, no, damn it. I'm not, what do you want from me? Why would I ask that? What are you doing, John? Why are you so upset? Oh, he's just frustrated. Decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Ah, you don't care if I live? Maybe not at this point. Leave me alone, John. I'm trying to suffer in peace. Yeah, let me alone. To sell yourself to the Sakas? They'll end you. One Plain is dead. That. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Ah, uh, fucked in the head worse than me. Asked you, what the hell do you want, John? Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. Well, what do you want? See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Gonna make a terrorist to me? For some ideal or to square a grudge? I'll go with that option. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. It's my body though, John. <laughs> Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. Makoshi. It's just a hallucination, but I don't trust you. Makoshi, what's that exactly? Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Okay, so far? Yep, saw what happened to you. Yeah, seen the memories. Bit a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of where it stores its victims' engrams. Yeah, but you just said that it fries the body when it happens. I didn't register that last time. So, kills the body when it rips out the psyche, huh? So, uh, me and Mikoshi, how are we linked at all? Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are ya? Nope, guess not. Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And that happens to be true. Arasaka, how you plan to destroy it this time? And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. <laughs> I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. Like right now? <laughs> Fucking hell! What's going on over here? Jeez, make it a ruckus. Oh. Uh and of course, we're going to call Judy, let her know what's up. B. You called. <laughs> you sound surprised. Promise I would, I would, didn't I? Promise I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Well, I got a lead on Evelyn. Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. 
Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh shit. You heard of him? Do you know where to find him? You know where to find this fingers character? Yeah. Runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. He's called Fingers. So of course she is. Alright, I'm heading there now. Heading there now. To find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, Alright, later V. Okay. So we're going back to our favorite place, Jig Jig Street. What's nearby? What's nearby? I want to see if there's like a ripper dock other than Fingers. Yeah, this one right here. An assault in progress. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. I just want to see. See if, uh, how, how, how many mats I need to upgrade my cyber deck, or if not, just find a better cyber deck to buy, and hopefully I have enough money. Let's go, Bonnie. It's you and me, lady. Alright, it's below us, so where's this quest marker taking us to? Probably an elevator, right? No, it just took me to the entrance. Oh, it, I thought I was gonna go to the other place, but uh, whatever. Oh, the other Ripper Ducks within the same vicinity. What's up, John? And like it was nobody big. I told him to spin. Oh my. The place has a wicked vibe. May they wait. So this is more to your taste? So this more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting at clouds? I guess not. He's eyeballing that girl over there really hard, man. You like her, John? You want me to introduce you? You know what's funny? I'm highlight. I, I chose to follow this to take me to this rep doctor because I want to check it, check it out. But the quest mark is also taking me there too. We're heading to the same place, but it's two separate routes. That's hilarious. It's that favorite corner store, Pee Pee. What the hell's going on over here? Tucked away in the back corner, Jig Jig Street, man. This would be a horrible place to come by yourself late at night. Takamura. Alright, uh, V, I allowed my temper to flare, for that I apologize, even I can get carried away at times, I hope you didn't take it to heart. <laughs> okay, he's afraid he hurt my feelings, and we're not responding, so maybe we took it to heart. Can I actually call this elevator? Where does this go? I'm just curious, where does this elevator go? Poplar Street Storage, oh, it's just taking me to different levels. There's a lot of elevators like that around here. All right, Jig Jig Street. Well, I take my frustrations hey, out on this guy. Step closer. Here to see who. I do kind of want to see um my shotgun in action. Well, I got the street kid option. You got a message from the Tiger Claws. Got a message for fingers. Comes from the Tiger Claws. And that message would be two things: urgent and confidential. The beast. Meaning. Meaning you got a choice. Ooh. Oh yeah? Yeah. You either get your shit kicked in for being slow, or for being a nosy prick. Fine. Aww. Let him through, sludge. Alright, I guess we're not fighting then. I could've intentionally picked- I don't like how he was eyeballing me, man. Could've picked a fight, but I didn't. So, the scrapper perk's not a thing anymore, so there's like no reason to like pick up with this stuff anymore. Hey, hey. That sounds like Judy. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Oh, and leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. I could scan him. He's a pimp. Scan her. She's a joy toy. Can I interfere with these guys? I don't owe you shit. <laughs> oh, but you do. And that shit has a name. Something around 20 thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think Fingers would have fixed a cracked face plate for free? You want out, you gotta pay me back. Your face can get cracked. Well, I guess that's nothing. It's just background stuff. And now she's just walking away. All right. There's Judy. V, hey. Hey. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. 
Sit your ass down and wait your turn. You are being kind of rude, Judy. But you know fingers? How do you know how do you know fingers? Fingers guy. You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like his hand sometimes slips. Uh, I guess I'm glad you came. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah, so why'd Evelyn go back to Clouds anyway? After the heist. Evelyn hold up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? Yeah, of all places, man. <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Maybe it was Tom. Maybe for whatever reason, Tom made her feel safe. That's the only thing I could think of. All right, street kid, the Mox got fingers in their crosshairs. Mox don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front. Why me? <laughs> I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Judy, not a people person. Ah, oh, you think Evelyn's still here? I think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Yeah, both options don't sound good. Evelyn means a lot to you, obviously. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how, exactly? Well, you're here. The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Hmm. And, uh, did we hear somewhere that she used to work at Clouds? You worked at Clouds? Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Okay. Um, if I wanted to, I could have forced it if I had the right stuff here. What's this? Keystone Fingers. That's just this website. Let's talk to these ladies. Let's be nice. They didn't do anything wrong. They're here out of desperation. Because if they had all the options, she'd probably come so they'd probably go somewhere else. Faulty damaged. What the hell was that? I think that was an ad on TV. All right, let's talk to the girls. Um. Where's Fingers? Fingers helps uh, working folk. Seen a girl with blue hair? No. So Fingers helps working folk. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helps me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Talking about Better arms. than being a cripple. So he does have his use and serves some purpose to the people here? So he's... Disgusting and nasty, but he's is helping people from time to time. We can wait. No, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna spend any money. All right, I, I need to talk to Fingers. It's important. I need to talk to him. It's important. You think we're just here to polish our nails, huh? I'll let you cut in front of me. Oh, thanks. You're a real pain in my cleat, Mitzi. You know that? And you might as well knock and find out when he's mopping up. Supposed to be a goddamn clinic. Wait, Not in any of your blonde red. Go on now. Don't you worry about her. Thanks, Miss Mitzi. Come on, let's go. Edges are stretching your optic I think he's done. Don't we going worry. in? Your eyes will adjust. Eventually. What did he do to her? Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? This freaking guy. Hey, can we talk a minute? I love that song. Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours. Help me, Judy, save me! But I'm busy right now. You, Tiger Claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Has Judy always been this tall? It feels like she's taller than me. I feel so Can't inadequate. You install faulty implants. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? 
What's in it for you? Money. Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> oh, this guy's so gross. You're a sick fuck. Know that? Yeah, he is, man. What do you two want? Um, just to have some conversation, apparently. Helping working girls. Or you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, uh, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. The detail they put into this guy is crazy. Like, look at that, he's got a bite mark on his arm. Well, come on. Ah, didn't mean to get that close. Hey, I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. This place just reeks of sleaze, man. From the... his ashtray to just everything. I bet this place smells like stale cigarettes and urine. Alright, you remember her. I know you do. Went jittery as soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Now, the update I was telling you about with 2.0 is that you had to not rough them up too much or else you'd lock them out as a ripper doc. And he had or has some really good stuff. But um, yeah, we're just going to go um, straight to the punch. Better start remembering or else. Suggest you start remembering there we go. You can. Punch him, V. Hit him. That, Hit him with that stupid sure face. Forget my face. Hit him. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Really? Punch him again. Ugh. <laughs> they mentioned a moth of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Punch again. Ugh. God, so satisfying. But if you did that before, you'd lock him out. You couldn't come to him yeah. as a doc. I'll be outside. Oh, that felt good. All right, I'll meet you outside. I guess there's no loot in here. I thought there was like uh, a legendary weapon that was here. It was like ridiculous, something ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I can't go through here. What the hell? Why is it got a mannequin in the bathtub? Studded. Stuff. What the hell is he doing here? I don't want to know what he does. Oh, what's this? Components. Very dig very good. And stuff I don't want. What the hell is that? I guess they're dolphins. Got some medications and stuff. What the hell is this thing? Looks like a giant tadpole. God, everything about this guy, man. Oh, oh here it is. I knew there was something. Cotton mouth, one-handed club. Yeah, and that's displayable. I don't know, maybe I actually try to 100% my uh, safe house, my stash. Let's play through. I've never done that. Alright. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else of note in here, right? I mean, he has a computer. Maybe we could learn some more. That you could. Something concerning Evelyn. Something's weird. Hmm. I can't jump. I could have swore I could have read that computer or something. All right, let's go talk to Judy. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Damn, why didn't you? Yeah, don't worry, we'll find her. Can't afford to lose her nerve. Nah, we'll find her. Don't worry, we'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. 
It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Someone that tunes virtues all day, you'd think she would see it right away. All right, Death's Head. Heard the term used like ever? Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Yeah. Kind of like a mobile meth lab. I right, need to find out where they scroll these things. I need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Hmm. You know, everyone, everything leaves a trace behind. Everyone, everything leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Why didn't you say something before? Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Okay, so we just get on any computer to do this? Special computer? What do we do? I don't recall. Let me think for a sec. Okay. I know a local fixture. Let's give the... I don't think I've ever did a let's give the Darknet side a shot, have I? Alright, let's do that. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Ask about XBDs on Jig Jig Street. I think I did that before. All right, let's just go straight to the... And go out this way, too. All right, I'll reconnect with you later, Judy. The Darknet, the Darknet. Did I ever do the Darknet? Excuse me, I gotta use this. Uh. This is a travesty. Yes, it is. All right, Keystone Pleasures of Night City. All the pleasures and delights uh, Night City has to offer. All right, so we gotta find underground twin, dollhouses, nightlife... Brain dances, brain dances. Various brain dances are like ramen shops. You don't have to look to find them. Lizzie's Bar Kabuki, okay. Jig Jig Street, dive into a world of delight. Log in. Oh, let's log in. Yeah, I've definitely never done this. A very easy one. We're in. Guest all one, next. Pleasure of Night City, all the pleasure. Okay, now what? Oh. Exquisitor Simulator, fighting Satan with sadism, bodies in space, no anesthesia, Dad said Moth, volume 49, contact Lynn. Alright, find XB dealer on Jig Jig Street. I think last time I called up Reggie, right? I don't remember. And... This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for something raw. It's just right here. Untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me, really scramble the neurons. We've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootout, black ops interrogations, amputations. Oh God. No, 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 no. I mean something like, well, you know, fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? I don't think he does. No, I don't. <laughs> think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? Too many fetishes to guess from, man. I want to know what it's like. To to kill somebody. God. See, wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. Look at this guy, ugh. God, it makes my skin crawl, man. What are you looking for? What are you selling? Nah, I need a special brain dance. After I look through your stuff. Guess nothing in here. I guess he doesn't care. Maybe that's not even his storage unit. Need something. I need a special brain dance. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Are you a co-op? What the kind with the dead said badge? Give me the best of the best. 
The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Looks like he's wearing a very expensive raincoat. All right. No point in asking these questions. All right, what do you got? Got anything that might interest me? All right, so this is what we want. Deep fried death's head moth and illicit brain dance incompatible with your software, so we can't watch it from here. All right, what's this? Acid bath, deleted scenes. Hardest disc, deleted scenes. No arms, no limbs behind the scenes. Oh, God. No limb hardcore, the making of... This is porn. Hottest, real, brutal torture, torture mix. Oh, God. And some vinyl records with Johnny's face on it. Pleasure doing biz with you. What if I could kill him? All right, meeting up with Judy at her van. I want a boost pack like in Starfield in this game. <laughs> it would be like a game-breaking thing, though. Hop in. All right. But before we hop in, guys, I got a Delta, ran out of time, but uh, we're making some good progress here. We'll find Evelyn eventually, see what happened to her. So thank you for coming by. Really appreciate your support. Don't let the gonks get in your way. Slap them, slap them down. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey.